Hello everybody, welcome to another Skit tutorial. I'm Skitskit, and today we're going to be learning about how to turn a hand-drawn image into an electronic image. So, let's begin. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to hand-draw your image. Um, this is the image I drew um, for what was once on my channel. Um, uh, that's just so you can get a look at it. And so, um, what you're going to, do, going to want to do, I recommend uh, you do it on a separate sheet of paper like I did right here. Um, and then we're going to scan it into uh, whatever scanner you have. Hopefully you have one, um, and then you're pretty much good after that, and then we'll explain from there. Alright, so here's what you're going to want to do. You're going to take your image right here, and then you put it in your scanner. What you're going to want to do is you want to put it so that it is uh, corner to corner like this, um, from bottom left, and uh, just close it up. Alright, so uh, once you've gotten your... Uh, your image in your scanner, you go to Photoshop and you go File, Import, and uh, you find whatever your scanner name is and you just click on it. Um, it'll automatically scan it and uh, it depends on whatever kind of scanner you have. It's an H if it's an HP, you just press Accept and then uh, it'll give you something like this. Um, so then uh, this isn't exactly what you want, obviously. So um, what I did is uh, I created a new layer and then uh, I got my line tool and uh, I set it to three pixels as the weight and I just kind of slowly went over it um, oops, that's the pixels here we go um, yeah. so you just kind of go outline it and um, yeah so obviously that takes a little bit but it's definitely worth it so I'll come back to you guys when I finish Alright, so um, I've outlined it up here, and uh, it just basically looks like this. Uh, I've also colored it too, I got, got a little crazy. Um, so this is ad, ends up what you're kind of at, and then um, what I did is uh, I colored it, so it will add shading, so first you add shading, so there's some shading for you, and then um, you kind of just color it uh, with colors that you feel would be appropriate to it. So you might want to take a picture of your character and take colors from that using the uh, water drop tool or yeah I think that's what it's called and uh, so then uh, this is what it should look like when you're done kinda you know with color uh, I'll put it to 100% so it's good quality there. like that so um, yeah I hope this helped you guys um, and uh, just for your knowing uh, to make files that are of low file size uh, through Photoshop so that you can have them in very good quality say for on your channel or your profile you go to file save for web and devices and um, there you can kind of control how how much it is and you can see a preview of what the file is going to be so YouTube's limit is uh, I believe 256 kilobytes um, so this would be fine as is um, this is the maximum settings you can do, but you can take the quality down to limit the file size, and you could also bring the blur up to um, make the file size even, you know, more uh, less, I guess. Um, and it gives you a preview of what your image will look like, but with full quality, it still makes it for me on on this one. So, huzzah, I guess. <laughs> um, and so yeah, uh, I hope this tutorial helped you guys, and uh, I'll be doing more in the future. So yeah, leave comments and questions uh, for what tutorials you want me to do in the future, because I don't really know what to do. <laughs> so yeah, bye.